the patients we're about to meet, like many others, had bunion surgery on one foot. Then they came back for more. Please welcome Teresa Carrara. Teresa, you were a ballet dancer? Now, do you think that was causing a lot of the pain in your feet? Uh, probably it built up over the years, but I learned to live with it, and I was used to the way my feet were. And as a dancer, you don't want to change your feet. Did the bunions actually cause you to back out of ballet? Not necessarily, no. no. Just no. you had so much pain, you decided yeah, I, to have the surgery. Ultimately, yeah, for years, I still continued to dance because that was my favorite form of workout, and this is what I really enjoyed doing. And so that's why I put off having the procedure done, thinking that, you know, I wouldn't be able to do this anymore. This is something I really love, and I want to be able to do it just as well in the same way I did before. So. Okay. Now you've had both feet done. Yes. Now how far in between on both feet? I had the left foot done last year and the right foot done about a month after that. A month after? Yes. The left one was the worst and then the right right after. Right. That. And now when you say worst, that was your worst foot? Absolutely. Exactly. What made you pick Dr. Moy? I think the, the referrals from friends and people that I trusted, because believe me, I'm a skeptic and I was very nervous about deciding to go through with it. I think that the referral from friends and hearing other success stories made me feel comfortable going forward with it. Then I met Dr. Moy and that that convinced me. Yeah. You know, he knows what he's doing. Life was better. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the pain, did you feel anything? No pain whatsoever. Really? I think that's part of why it was so easy to go back. Okay. Is that, you know, you hear all the horror stories and you think, oh, this is going to be a horrible recovery and I'm not going to be able to do anything the way I did before. I really went in for the procedure Thursday morning both times mm -hmm. and was back at work Monday without any problems. So I How soon did myself. you get back into val ballet? I had the second surgery done in October, and I was back at the ballet bar in January. Oh, so. congratulations. And I was very nervous. I went to class, and I thought, if they don't work the same as they did before, I'll be very disappointed. Right, because there, there's a lot of toe yeah, usage. Balance and yes. holding positions and things, and you want your double pirouette back. You don't want to lose it. So. Yeah. Well, congratulations. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. That's great. Well, we would like to show a before and after photo. Okay, do you mind? I don't mind. Okay. <laughs> we'll look back here on the screen. We'll sh see a before picture. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty bad. Shouldn't have put it off. <laughs> <laughs> and then the after photo. Not only are you pain free, but you have a beautiful foot now. I am very pleased. Right? Yes, very pleased with the results. And relatively no scarring. Now, what about other athletes who tax their feet to the max? Let's bring out our next guest and find out. Please welcome marathon runner Jeannie Perry. Hi, Jeannie. Hi. A marathon runner. Yes. Now, when you were running, were you feeling a lot of pain? Is that what made you do the surgery? I would be in a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. I've always been active, and um, I'd come home at the end of the day, and my feet would be really sore and really red and just achy. And I finally just decided to have the surgery, and Dr. Moy was recommended to me by so many people. Um, I would say, oh, I'm going to have bunion surgery, and they'd say, oh, I have this great doctor, and I'd say, is it Dr. Moy? And they'd say, yeah, how did you know? I said, well, <laughs> so many people have told me about him. While I was recovering, um, I had never run a marathon before, and just seeing everyone out there running, I just had this inspiration to run a marathon, and I knew I could do it then because I was pain-free. So let me get this so, right. You weren't a marathon runner. You were a runner. Right. But you weren't doing marathons prior to surgery. Now after surgery you're doing a marathon? Correct. Wow. Right. I started training um, about six weeks after my second surgery. I had no pain after my surgery and it was I've been pain-free ever since and I'm running my fourth marathon in two weeks. So. Well now we have another extreme example of an athlete after bunion surgery. Michael McConnell has participated in the legendary Ironman triathlon multiple times. Ironman is no ordinary athletic event. This race involves swimming over two miles, then getting on a bike and riding over 100 miles. And if that's not enough, running a 26-mile marathon to top it off. Michael is one of Dr. Moy's patients who actually had both bunions removed at the same time. We are fortunate to have a taped interview with him. So let's take a look. The decision to, to have them removed was, was always in the back of my mind. It was just a scary thought. I've, I had a lot of people say, well, we've had situations where the feet are more painful after the surgery. So this was always in the back of your mind, like, oh my gosh, you know, if I'm gonna have them removed and now my feet are gonna be worse, so can I deal with the pain? You know, so that, that was honestly in the back of my mind for a long time. I did this in September two years ago and went in at 6.30 in the morning. Don't remember going into the operating room, came out with a pair of boots on 
and in all honesty didn't even take any of the medication that he prescribed for me so and three days later was in the gym doing leg extension leg curls people coming up asking me if those were new type of workout boots that I had on so <laughs> by by Christmas I was back up to running 30 40 miles a week and no problem and running on you know mostly wooded trails and that sort of thing you know up in the, in the hills so tough terrain stuff that would be challenging for your feet I'm really thankful that I had them taken off and it is, it was a, it's a life-changing decision. And it's one that you know, I, I definitely wish I had not put off for so many years. But then again, I didn't know Dr. Moy, so here we go. I'm happy to do this infomercial just because, I mean, I totally believe in what he did. It, it's, I've not had any problem with my feet. I, like I said, I had very, very little pain, if any, after the surgery. So, I mean, what, what more can I say? It's, it's, Go to Dr. Moy and get it done. And thank you, Michael, for the added inspiration and for showing us that anything's possible when you're living life beyond bunions.